and right off the bat we are faced with trickery. Now, mechanically this just means we have to get one code first and then the other <laughs> while the membrane is still active or we'll have to do it all over again. But how can Madame be in two places at once? Is her memory... Maybe her memory is fragmented? Or maybe we are being... The nah, nah. person allowed to play with memories here is me. It's probably nothing. Now, against our better judgment, we are going to activate this membrane right here because this room doesn't look like a boss arena at all. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the inside of an electric toothbrush. And if there's something in this world that I can trust, it's toothbrushes. And hey, we got a new combat thingy, which means we have we now have an additional sequence of X's and Y's to press in battle. Which is convenient because we are in fact engaged in combat against these... I don't know what these things are, but they sure are attacking me. I guess it's some kind of safety lock. It must be. This this has to be standard procedure. I I can't figure if Madame I, I don't think Madame knows we're here. She can't know. Since when is a membrane turned out to be hostile? Edge, something bizarre is up here. Edge won't be able to help you, dear. The game has begun, and it's my turn to play. Oh no! It appears we have been tricked, pranked, trolled, bamboozled, swindled, taken for a ruse cruise by Madame all along. We could... there was no way we could have known this. This is completely out of the blue. Nillin, Nillin, my little untamable shrew. You came back to me. I am flattered. You seem upset, my darling. Let's stop these silly games. Come up. I'm waiting. Whatever. You're not my real mom anyway. Millet, did you miss me? Not bad. A latched remembrane. I knew you would appreciate it. I'm here to get my memory back. Everything's here. You only need to look. Your little games don't scare me, madame. In time, little one. In time. <laughs> Yeah. 
So this is why Madame, like Nilan, also has an ego room. But she doesn't brood in it. Instead she is a boss fight that takes place in it. And to be fair, I I think the game could have profited from making these ego rooms more of a thing in the story. If you get what I mean, I think these allow for for pretty free form level design and and to be honest I just this is not in any way an objective opinion, I just like it. I have a new game. A special game just for you. Would you like that? A private lesson? Now this boss fight is actually pretty simple. You have to avoid Madame's minions until she appears above you. Then you have to find a way to get her down to the ground and pummel her with a combo. After a set amount of time she will then retreat and you'll have to do it again. And again and again. Get me that easily. You can either shoot her down from, from the air with your junk bolt, or you can use an entire focus gauge chunk and smash her out of the air with a sense and DOS. Well, I've missed you. No! Enough of this! You cannot defeat me! Run, my dad. Run! Now, like any self-respecting boss enemy, she has a second phase, which consists of these aerial strikes, which you have to avoid with the B button. If your B button is still working after this, I salute you, because you, e you were either brave enough to just stand in these pillars until you were almost dead, or you figured out the secret to timely dodging. I didn't. But in the end, the second phase just amounts to a lot of busy work because you can only use Sense and Das to get her down and to get her into a position where you can harm her. Which, considering it's 130 seconds long cooldown, is a bit much. I mean, you can use cooldown presses to make it go down faster but you still have to worry about these guys that that just swarm the place I'm not saying it's hard I just don't think that's I just don't find it engaging And because Watch Madame thinks me. she's more important than she actually Fine. is, she also has a third phase. It's too easy. In this phase you just have to find out which of the copies is the real Madame and then shoot that one, which gives you a free combo on her. If, you, if you're lucky, or if you've built your combos correctly, you can finish her off in two combos. But then again, fortune favors the bold, and I am not bold. Your resistance thrills me, my duck. Kneel to 
adore me. You've learned nothing in your time away from me. Now we might ask ourselves, is killing someone inside their own head an ethically sound decision? Nilin, however, has no such doubts. School's out, Mrs. Madame. So yeah, she also gives us a power-up. Because of course. Madame's down. Use her force spammer to unlock the memory confinement servers. And what a power-up it is. It requires you to hold down the right shoulder button to aim, hold down the left shoulder button to make it active, and then move things with the right control stick while moving yourself with the left stick. Which means you have to hold the controller in this kind of claw grip that both ruins the controller and is really really bad for your hands. And these kind of, these kind of puzzles they're everywhere from now on. And I really, really don't like how they how they did them. The concept of having to move things with your with your glove, that's okay, I guess. It's just one kind of puzzle in a game with other puzzles. But what were they thinking when they mapped the buttons for this? How did this get through playtesting? Also, since you used the right stick to move the thing, your camera just kind of does what it wants, which means it gets in your way most of the time. Memory confinement protocols disengaged. Syncing back up with origin storage media. You did it! You've rebooted the Errorist Revolution! All our comrades have regained their memories! Cell upon cell of vandalized minds, each receiving the memories that were stolen from them. Rebirth! Momentarily adrift, their minds cling to anger, fueling their newfound liberty with an immediate need for action. Finally, long buried convictions, forged stronger by their captivity, rise through the turmoil and reforge their humanity. Nothing can stop our comrades. Where are my memories? I don't feel anything. Don't worry. If there's one thing that works here, it's their backups. Your turn is coming. Oh, oh. Edge! 
Something's wrong. Madame might have transferred your memories elsewhere. No. Oh. oh, God! My crime, I remember! I killed him! Shortly, we're heading to your. I know, I know. Now. Just give me a minute. Calling Alexia. Unable to connect. Please leave a message. Alexia, damn it, call me. The whole of Paris will be watching my appointment ceremony. You can't let me down like this. I need you there. Message recorded. Selfish bitch. I gave you more than I ever took, Frank. You had my best years. Bullshit. You'll ruin my career before it's even started. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo? Get real, Frank. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Alex. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Alex! And just like that, we have entered the next remix. If this feels somewhat disjointed from the rest of the story, that's because it is. I highly suspect that this was supposed to be cut from the game, because the plot points that are brought up in this remix ne are never brought up anywhere else. So I just think they they left it in because if they hadn't left it in there wouldn't be as many remixes as there are now and there aren't that many remixes in a game that is supposedly about memory remixing god damn it I give you more than I Rip in pieces, Frank. Rip in pieces. But we are not supposed to do that. That supposedly causes severe brain, brain damage to the person you are currently remixing. So let's just pretend that never happened. There are actually two opportunities to unlock the gun, and you have to use the second one to get the correct outcome. Now, it would be nice if we could get Alexia to live, but that's not what Nilin did. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Shoot me? You can't even stand up straight. Be serious, Frank. You never even take the safety off. 
So yeah, Nilin made newly appointed Saber Force Commander Frank Fallen kill himself because he thought he'd shot his girlfriend. I would say that's hardly heroic, but it's actually really, really fucking evil. Sir, we're if you think about it, you to the courthouse right now. It's you also evil if you don't think lost. about it. You're not taking me in for this. It was an accident. I won't give you the satisfaction. I'm so sorry, Alex. I'm so sorry. All right, Frank, you win. I, Frank, 